guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see it's dark um i am filming at night um i wanted to film a video for you guys that has been on my mind for a little bit it is basically fashion rules that i want to throw out now one of the rules i don't want to throw out is a uh, lip liner I threw some lip gloss on my mouth because it's been a long day. Excuse my makeup. I've had this on since 9 o'clock this morning, and it's like 10, 11 o'clock right now. So I have lip gloss on with no liner. Just ignore <laughs> Just ignore that. I just didn't want to have like the clear mouth on um, camera. So I basically just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some fashion rules that I really want to throw out. Um, in this day and time, there should not still be many fashion rules. There are some things that are staples, like dressing for your size, wearing things that flatter your body, dressing for your style, your style, not anybody else's. Um, I seen a girl and I'm not saying she was trying to dress like me. I'm never that up my own behind and I feel like somebody is like paying that much attention to me but I just I've seen this girl for literally months and I've never seen her dress like this and first of all she didn't even do it right she had on this really big top and it had all of these ruffles and she had on it with like ankle slim like I don't even know if they were jeans or like jeggings because that's how tight they were. So that's a no-no. Um, then they were like these slides. or so. I just was like, like I didn't even say anything because I just was like so in shock. Like, okay. The first thing I thought of was like, is she trying to look like me? Because that's wrong. <laughs> so, but you know, anyway, I just... It's so important to just, there's nothing wrong with being inspired by somebody. I'm inspired by plenty of people. Instagram inspires me every day. So there's nothing wrong with being expired, inspired. Sorry, guys, there's something in my eye. There's nothing wrong with being inspired, but there is something wrong with just being a blatant copy of somebody and just not even doing it right. You can at least do it right if you're going to be looking like somebody else. So I cannot wait to get into a couple of these rules that I want to completely throw away. If you are not a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe, join our little community. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. I am so glad you are enjoying the content. And if you would like to get into a few fashion rules that I want to throw out, keep watching. <music> only going to be a couple of things because these are some things that literally just came to mind when I thought about this topic. One is I'm not really the biggest sequin person. I have sequin. It has to be done a certain way for me to wear it. Most of my sequin is Rick Owens. So it has to be a certain way. But one fashion rule that I would love to throw out is reserving sequin for nighttime to me done correctly sequin can be an amazing amazing added piece for a daytime look like i seen a girl if i could find a picture of her i will link it or post it she had on a sweater or a top and a sequin skirt and some knee boots or something and she looked adorable the skirt wasn't too much um it was like uh it wasn't long it was like a midi skirt or a mini skirt i think it might have been a mini skirt and it was just the perfect amount of sequin it was just done so tastefully even a bag like while i would carry a, a sequin bag you know during the daytime you know i just feel like this reserved for certain times is just like and, and that brings me like to my next rule like dressing up is reserved for nighttime 
Y'all already know by now that it, I don't know that fly with me. I'm going to put my ball gown on nine o'clock in the morning. If that's what I feel like doing, I'm going to be in the market with my gown on sweeping the floor, knocking down the spaghetti sauce and the owl cracking the eggs. Like it's, it's like these rules are just so dated to me and just so just unnecessary. Like, especially like the way of the world, like, to me, dressing is one of the few things, like, I think John Galliano said, getting dressed should be a joy. Those are one of the few things that, like, you have to look forward to during your day. Like, I literally look forward to getting up in the morning to get dressed. I love putting a dress on. I love putting on a big skirt. Like, that is, that brings me joy during my day, especially if you or work in some place and it's not the best or it's not, not really what you want to do, but you have to do it right now to get to where you want to be. Or, you know, for any reason, like clothes just, they, they uplift and they, they, they bring me anyway, so much joy and so much happiness. Like I just, I'm not restricting that for certain times of day. Like I don't do the Monday look versus Friday look like, if I'm going to be dressed, I'm going to be dressed Monday through Friday through Sunday. That's just who I am. So I don't like the dressing for a certain time of day thing. I think that's just throw that out. There is no, you know, if somebody is looking at you like, well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Where are you going? Wherever I want to go. And you keep it pushing. Like there's no dressing for a certain time of day or reserve for you know, any going out or after work. Now there's things that you can switch for later in the day. For example, if you have on uh, flats because you're going to work and you switch to your evening shoes because you're going out, that's fine. Because you realistically, you can't go through your whole day depending on where you work with heels on. So you want to work comfortably. But saving your outfit for after work Sis, put your clothes on and go outside and go to work. Now, what I will say that I do miss, and I think I had this conversation with my mom, I miss the days of intentional dressing. Not necessarily saved for a certain time of day, but Pretty Woman is one of my favorite, favorite movies. Favorite movies. And I love the part where she goes and sees, I think I might have told y'all, this before. It seems like I'm deja vu. I love the part where she goes and sees the friend that works at the department store of the manager of the hotel. And she asks her like, you know, well, what plans do you have tonight? And she says, well, I'm going to dinner. And the lady says, well, you'll need a cocktail dress that I miss. Well, I can't say I miss cause I wasn't around then, but I, that I would love. Like, even though I was still wear my cocktail dress during the day and just go out at night, I love that they had clothing designated for these times. Like, like you were you like you were a lady. Like you go out. Like I was even watching a movie and the men were standing up when she stood up to go to the bathroom. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, they really did used to do that. Like meanwhile. I'm sitting in the car waiting on my husband to open the door and he done went to the restaurant. And I'm sitting here like, <laughs> he done left me in the car thinking I done got out. And I'm sitting in the car waiting for him to open my door. Meanwhile, these men are standing up because this woman is getting up to use the restroom. Like now we have like, I guess it's the feminist movement and nothing, which I have nothing against. You know, I'm all for equality of women and all of that stuff, but I'm a lady and I want to be treated as such. I don't want to paint the house like you. I don't want to lay pavement in, in, in the street like you. I'm not trying to, to, to bulldoze a building like you. I don't want to do none of that. I want my door opened. I want you to hold my hand when I'm walking up a curb. I want you to walk on the right side of the street when we outside. Like I want all of that. Like I really wish we can get back to those times though, like where it's just, you had intentional dressing. Now, 
Are you going to wear realistically, you know, a long sequent ball gown during the day? Probably not. I may, depending on, you know, which way the wind blowing that day. But that could possibly be reserved for a nighttime. Like, I'll give you another example. I went to the ballet with my mom. I could not, I'm going to tell you, I was more excited about getting dressed than going to the ballet. This No, not the ballet, the opera. I was more excited. I was excited for the opera because this was my first one, but I was more excited to get dressed than I was to go to the opera and actually hear the music. I could not wait to be there amongst all these sophisticated people and look to see what they had on. Like I could not wait to see these outfits. Y'all, we got, uh, excuse the rough riders outside, like I can't even do, we got to this place, first of all, do I have a hump in my hair? Sorry guys, my hair is just like, it's on its way out, so almost time to get done again, so it's acting up. When we got there, I was so disappointed. I, like, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. These people, first of all, I'm looking at picnic baskets. They got on shorts and sneakers. Like, these people look like they was going full shopping. I'm sitting here like, like I don't got my hair done. This was a whole event for me. I was so disappointed. I didn't know what to do. I'm sitting here looking at my mom like, now, again, y'all already know I'm going to do me regardless of where I'm at. Like, I'm always going to be me. But I was just so disappointed because I was so looking forward to this sophisticated night and just like getting into the music and just being amongst all these fabulously dressed people. I'm thinking I'm getting ready to see top hat and tails and child. <laughs> they had on dad sandals with socks and straw hats. And I'm just like, like, I was just over it. I was so disappointed, so disappointed. But that is what I wish we would get back to more intentional dressing. Like I was expecting the ball gowns and the long sequin dresses and the gloves and all. I was expecting it. Like maybe it's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm living in a fantasy world, but that's what I was expecting. So I was super, super disappointed when I got there. But, you know, you can't have everything. I had a good time. I look good. So, you know. So another fashion rule that I want to throw out, and I don't even know if this is still a rule because I haven't really heard this in a while, but sometimes like I'm in style or something, you'll hear this, but it's like the wearing white after Labor Day. Like, are we still doing this? Like, to me, the only time you shouldn't have white on, and this is for women, is if your cycle or something is on. Other than that, I'm trying to understand, like, what the hell do wintertime got to do with you having white on? Like, I don't know where this rule came from. I don't know what the origination was or none of that. But it's just, it's a ridiculous rule. Because why does it matter after Labor Day, you, you have it on white? I think winter white and cream and all of that, I think that's beautiful in the wintertime. Like, it's just the weirdest rule to me. Like, why I can't wear white? Because it's the holiday over it's just, it makes no sense. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of like a white fur or something. I don't like that. To me, white furs are just like, I, I don't think I've ever seen that one person with a white fur on. Like a stole or something, that's something different. But like a white fur or a long white fur, it's like, to me, now, we can throw that out. But wearing white after Labor Day, I think it's just ridiculous. I love white, like white cashmere pants and a beautiful white, you know, wool or cashmere sweater or a wonderful turtleneck or something. Like as long as you guys know I'm a fabric person, as long as the materials and stuff is good, I don't understand what the problem is. Like, I think that's... I, I'm, how about this? I'm going to wear white at the Labor Day. So I encourage everybody else to, too. I think it's a ridiculous rule.
another rule that I think also too some people are starting to break and is which includes me is mixing metals as far as your jewelry. They make watches now with mixed metal. They make jewelry, like rings and stuff sometimes, even necklaces mixed with silver and gold. But you'd be surprised. These things may seem old school or it's like, you know, Asia, everybody do. They don't. You'd be surprised how many people still don't or are afraid to mix their metals. Like, even me, it took me a minute to mix my metal because it's like I wanted one hand to be, you know, silver, the other hand to be gold. And I'm like, well, why you can't just do both? Like, and as I dip my foot into it, once again, done correctly and tastefully, it's like, it's the most beautiful thing ever. They, I have David Yerman bracelets that are silver with gold in it. Um, that I can mix with my wedding band because I even was at one point wasn't wearing anything on this hand, just my ring. I'm mixing bracelets and rings and everything now. Like you don't have to define like this is going to be this, this is going to be that. Like even your necklaces, you can mix elegant necklaces. I have a, um, it's a diamond and like it has like little green emerald stones necklace like that could be considered like a, a elegant going out necklace i'll throw that on with my body chain my other little link necklace my nameplate necklace like mix your jewelry not even just metals mix your jewelry big i used to really be in when i was a teenager into really big like uh uh I don't want to say Indian earrings because I don't know if that would be considered that, but like the really big earrings and I love that look. And that to me is something you would wear alone. Cause again, if you're going to mix it or you're going to do these things, it has to be done right. I'm not going to wear these really big elaborate earrings and I got all of this stuff on my neck. It's, it has to be done right. So you just have to find you know, what your style is with it and find a way to mix it so that it looks like you. Um, I've seen girls that mix um, the string ankle bracelets with diamond ankle bracelets and beads and stuff like you can have so much fun with your jewelry now. It does not have to be done a certain way. You don't have to put so much thought like I think that's like where I'm at right now. You don't have to put so much thought. Have fun with it. Like fashion should be fun as well. You should be excited to try something new. You should be excited to, let me see how this works with this. Some of my best outfits came out of me not even knowing what I'm going to wear. I just grabbed two things and it ended up being amazing. So not always putting so much thought into it, just going with the flow, just doing what feels good to you. Like sometimes the best looks come out of not taking everything so seriously, just doing what feels good. Now, if you're doing these, don't get upset. Keep doing them. I'm sure you're doing, you look amazing. I'm not saying you look a mess. This is just, these are my opinion, guys. Like, who am I? This is just little old me. I'm nobody. I'm not shifting the universe. It's okay. The matching the shoes with the bags, though, is just a no-no for me. From designers to color. I just, I can't even deal. Like, the, the Bottega green with the Bottega green bag. The, it's like the Gucci logo with the Gucci logo bag. It's like the Versace platforms this big with the pink Versace bag. It's girl. <sighs> like I can't even do. Like it's just, it's just not for me. It's, I just, I don't, I hate it. <laughs> like I just, I'm not even going to, I hate it. It's, it's just not. Like, I guess certain outfits, it could work, I guess. It's just, every time I see it, it's just lazy. It just reads lazy to me. Like, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Also, while I'm all for mixing seasonal colors and wearing orange in the summertime or whatever, I'm not with mixing seasonal material, which means... 
why y'all got on hoodies and Uggs and like boy shorts? Like, I'm just, I, I'm like, I be so confused. Like, what season do y'all be in? Like, are y'all in like another universe or something? Because trust me, right now, it feel like this is an alternate universe that we living in. Like, wholeheartedly, this don't even feel like real life. But it's like, I just be so like, where y'all be going? It's, I, I just be so, it's one thing to have on like a tank top sweatpants and like some slides or something you run into the post office. Like y'all literally will have on like a leather jacket, like some, no, no, no I'm going to tell you what really kills me. It'd be the spaghetti dresses or the little dainty little satin dresses and y'all will have on leather thigh high boots. Like, so it says summertime at the top and your legs are freezing. Like, just like make it make sense. Like, I'm not into the mixing of the seasonal materials. Like, it's just like, like, I can't even like, I can't. I don't even understand the thought process behind it. And yes, have fun with fashion a hundred percent. But the, come on. It just it doesn't even make sense though. Like mixing your jewelry, mixing your colors, that's fine. But it's like you got on a warridge with a spaghetti strap dress, like no. I haven't seen this in a while. But it's the fact that I've seen it, period. The stockings as pants. This is a rule that I think should stay a rule. Stockings are for under your clothes. It's bad enough. Y'all got on the tights as outfits. Because that another of the laziest things I've ever seen in my life. The tights as, as the outfit, tights are not pants. And I wear tights on my off days. I'll throw a pair of tights on in a tank top and a pair of sneakers in a minute. I'm running errands. I'm, I look a mess that day. That's my mess outfit. I don't got on no Jimmy Choo's with them. I'm not, I don't got on no Alexander McQueen top with them. Tights are not pants. This is a rule that they should stay. The stockings with the panties, like I'm literally mind boggled that this is a thing or was a thing. What, like the fact that y'all was really out here with panty, like you might as well have just came outside with your drawers on. I'm trying to figure out what you even had the stockings on for. Like, that's what I was confused about. Why do you even have on the stockings? You're literally outside with your panties on. What we got the stockings on for? Is it the seam or something in the stockings? Is it the control top that's supposed to be the, the, the look? Because other than that, like, I don't, like, I, I, I didn't get it. I understand that Kim is supposed to be, like, this fashion icon or whatever you guys are want to call her. But it's just some things y'all cannot copy from her. Like, I'm so sorry. I don't know if this came from her. She's the first person that I saw do it, and I wish I didn't see her. She can do this. She's not in everyday life. Like, y'all really was out here on the streets with y'all panties on. With sheer stuff. Like, y'all really went to the market and picked up them eggs and, and opened this egg up and put these stockings on and went outside. Like, I'm st like I'm in shock. Like, I'm still in shock. And it's, it's I haven't seen it in a while, but it's just, the, like, I got, what is it called, PTSD, that it was even happening. Like, that this was even ever a thing, that y'all really did this. I, this is something that I feel like in 2022, with all the options and stuff we have, that this, it still should not be a thing. But it is. And I might have talked about this in another video, but I'm going to say it again. Proper undergarments. Get measured for your bra. If you don't want to get measured, 
go to the store, grab a bunch of bras, whatever one fits the best, that's your size, at least in that store or that brand. Because you can be one size in this brand and one size in that brand. Because I know, I think Victoria's Secret is, their sizing is not the same as other bras. Y'all love Kim so much. She makes seamless underwear. She makes, what is what are we calling them now? Are, are they still Spanx or are they like, you are, you know, what shapewear, whatever y'all are calling it, she makes them. Get them and put them on. I'm tired of seeing y'all in these sundresses, in these tight knit dresses with the titties bouncing, the the stomach jiggling. Listen, you had a baby, that's beautiful. Your body is still beautiful. But let's just have a little bit more taste with the looks though. Like why you got this tight fitted dress on and your behind is not shaped for that? Your stomach is doing this while you walk it. Like we, we deserve better than that, Queens. Let's not do that. And again, I have made fashion mistakes before. This is how I know to tell you. So I have another fashion rule that I feel like needs to stay. The sunglasses at night. Like, I'm so confused. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've been outside. And I mean, it's damn near pitch black. And I, I'm I'm looking at sunglasses. I, I'm just... And I mean, it don't be like, you know, like the brown lens sunglasses where you can still see your eyes. Like, I'm talking pitch black, opaque. You hung over... You done got LASIK eye surgery the day before. Like, like I'd be so confused. Like, I, I, it's like I barely can see in the daytime. And y'all out here at night in a dark club or party and we got on sunglasses? It's a look. I totally get it. You got to get commit to the look. It just doesn't, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, once again, it's just all about balance and things making sense. I want us to have fun with fashion. This is not fun. It's just foolish. Like, why do you have on sunglasses? It's like, it's no it's no light in here. It's no sun. It's like, why? I... So I know that was a quick video, I guess. But I really just wanted to share a couple of things that was on my mind as far as fashion rules that I feel like need to be thrown out versus fashion rules that I really feel like need to stay because some of these rules need to stay. It's just, it's just a non-negotiable. <laughs> like it's just, we, we can't. So let me know how you felt about this video. Let me know in the comments some of your rules that you feel like need to be thrown out that are just like a hundred years old. Give me some feedback on some rules that you feel like you follow that you feel like need to stay. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Um, like the video. That helps me out a lot. Share if you want. And until the next video, I will see you guys. Bye.